so we have three clips loaded straight from the from the infrared converted camera on the timeline and the first thing I do is on the first clip is to balance color and that alters the white balance and then in color in effects I add the channel mixer to the timeline contrast A4D to the timeline and brightness A4D to the timeline and then we can see in the channel mixer and this is the the key step in in converting the footage we bring red red to zero we then do the channel swap we bring red blue to the right around one to start off with we bring blue blue to zero and blue red to somewhere over one and immediately you can see that the sky has turned blue and that you're getting the the false colors appearing and with this filter the the um, leaves of these evergreens here are showing as as white which is what you really want from uh, from this from this filter for infrared and of course you can fiddle around with these with these numbers and get all sorts of weird and wonderful colors for example as you can see you can move these up and down you can really get any effect you want but I'm going to leave it around there. You can even change green, green a bit because as you can see, you can get a different hue. You can start bringing color into leaves. Leave it around one for our purposes here. Because really the, the, the sky's the limit as, as to the effects that you can get. So let's just adjust contrast a bit. In the contrast up, which often shows well for infrared footage. Brightness, of course, you can you can control if you need to. You can also, of course, do add a correction with the color board. I'm not going to, but again, you can you can you can do all the normal color board changes if you want to add anything. And then, of course, it's simply a matter of copying those effects to the other clips let's just let's just map balance color with these other clips first and then copy this one I'll use the mouse because it's easier to show add copy you can either use paste effects or paste attributes here let's just do a paste attributes here show you that you've got choice on which ones you want to copy so you're going to move select those and paste them in there now that one's changed color as you can see it's a slightly different um, color balance you're getting there and you may want to then shift this around a bit individually to get the effect that you want. You can actually turn those green and just about do anything. And then we'll copy the... This time we'll paste the effects onto that third clip and you can see that one has also changed so that's the the basic technique for channel mixing that I'm using for infrared footage you can of course then put all sorts of things on like you can sharpen the footage let's do it on that first one because you can sometimes with infrared get things a little soft and a, and a little sharpening 
can sometimes improve the footage. It's really only a touch. I'm not doing it very well here, but you get the general idea. And that one has had some sharpening added. And you can you can do that obviously with all of these. And that is really the very simple method of handling false colour infrared footage for video.